Good morning, guys. Um, how are y'all this morning? Um, I feel a whole lot better than I felt last night. Oh my God, I don't know what was on my mind. About what I did last night, I do not know. I was, I was crazy. Let's just put it that way. I mean, literally crazy. Sorry, guys. Um, but um, this morning I feel way better. Um. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of this cough, guys. I'd be all right. Where? Get it off. Anyways, guys. Um, how are y'all? My twinkling butterflies. Um, what are we about to talk about this morning? Um, one thing. Y'all see this big old pimple? Oh my God! A big old pimple. This is killing me. Um, every time I get stressed out, um, I tend my face tend to break out in like them certain spots. Like be like right here, right here, right here. So I want to come up right here very soon, <laughs> all because of stress. But um, I did talk to my counselor yesterday. Um, since my kids are sick. Um, my plan has changed a little, not much. I am still going to my detox. It's just that I will be going um, probably sometime next week because um, I think I got an appointment with my doctor on Monday. I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to call and make sure that it is Monday. I had to go to that, you know, because my, that is my primary care doctor. And um, need to go and actually get some uh, refills on my medications and what I need. Um, so I just felt so bad yesterday, guys. When I did that live video last night, I posted it for a reason. Um, after I did that video, I can't even remember really doing the video. I just I had to look at it this morning and um kind of get a uh glimpse of uh what i look like how i sound um because last night after i came back from town i went to a uh, dollar tree i do remember that because i went and brought my kids you know a little dollar something because you know i promised them something whenever i do a little bit of money that's why i take them to the buy them a little toy or something they won't so i took them there and i do remember that Cause I brought stuff for I needed for the house, and I brought my grandma some uh, paper plates and cups and bowls. Cause you know, I do remember doing that. I remember going to the cookout, getting my daughter her milkshake, and getting me a cheese quesadilla. After that, everything is kind of a blur. I don't, I don't remember. I remember getting. I was at my grandma's, and um, I started crying. Cause I was feeling very sick. Like I started throwing up when I got back. Well, I was at the edge of my car, and my dad was outside. And uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if he said anything. I don't remember if he. Left. I don't remember. But I, I think, I, I believe I told my grandma what happened just in case I was to pass out or something was to happen. She would be able to you know what to tell them. Um. I don't remember none of that, guys. I don't. I remember coming home. I do remember that. And after that, I don't. I don't know. I have no idea until I woke up and I was like, my room was upside down. My kids was, you know, sitting here beside me. They were actually being very good. They had their toys out and just playing with them. I'm sitting on my bed, you know, playing with them and uh. My six-year-old, I remember she was laying here beside me, and she said, Mommy, you okay? You know, and I was like, yeah, you know, I said, Mommy's just sick. I didn't exactly tell her what happened because, you know, a six-year-old didn't hear that. I just told her I was sick. It didn't feel good. Um, so she tried to be my mama. You know, she tried to uh, baby find me, you know, and I let her do it, you know. So that's what she wanted to do. Um, but when I picked up my phone and decided to show you guys what 
it was like and what you actually look like um when you look like that when you do stuff like that what was in my mind at the time was i need him to see this because it's not i mean you don't want to look like that you don't want to feel like that you don't want to be to the point where you don't remember nothing um it was all accidental i just did a very big cocktail of things that I should not <coughs> should not have done but um I didn't know anyways that was my stupidity you know um and I regret it last night but it was already done over with you know all I could do was try to puke it up and Eat it or eat. I was trying to eat, trying to you know sometimes eating would bring you down, but it was, I was just like so up there that eating didn't even, didn't even touch it again. So, um, I thought I did a video. Oh, yeah, and luckily, I did not light no cigarettes during the whole time. So lucky because if I did, I would probably have set the house on fire. So, good me, I did not light no cigarette. Um, so all I could do was go back to sleep and sleep, you know, some of it off, but I didn't even sleep that good. I was up off and on. Like, I was asleep for an hour. I was, uh, I'd get up, get something to drink, cause my mouth was so dry. Um, I come back, I lay back down, I go back to sleep. I wake up the next hour. I was like, I was up like every hour and I would stay up like 10, 15 minutes and I go back to sleep. <coughs> And maybe that's part of because I said I was not going to take my gabapentin last night because of how I felt and how lethargic I already was. You know, I was already out of it. So, you know, I was like, no, I'm not going to even touch my gabapentin. It'll be there in the morning, you know, for my legs. Um, that could be part of it, but I don't know. But um, I know I was not going to try it anymore because I was scared that I was going to wake up in the hospital or something so um yeah I, I mean I slept but I was like up every hour on the hour for about 10 15 minutes and then you know I lay back down I go back to sleep um one thing my mouth was so dry I was so my mom was so disoriented it was a cloud you know I actually fell again off the bed um how I'm managing to do this, I don't, I'm not understanding. <laughs> um, I have never fell off my bed. Never since, you know, I've been here. Um, and the bed is not that. I'm not, I don't know how I managed to do this twice, like two nights in a row. Um, I have no idea. I feel like I am really need to go get this help that uh, I desperately need um, because it's getting it's not getting any better. It's getting a whole lot worse. Um, as you see with my eyes, I haven't even I only took my gabapentin in, in my uh, pain medication this morning because my side and my back is hurting real bad. And that's all I took, and that ain't like, you know, my normal thing that I take every day. Um, and it is like making me like he is, you know. And I, they, they never do that because they're only hydrocodone, five milligrams. So, you know, never does that. It just takes my pain away. I don't even take my pain away. It just eases it up to the point where I can tolerate it. Um... But, um, I am going to get that help because I'm finally realizing I need it. And I need it bad before things get any worse. We don't need them to get any worse. Um, with that being said, my little twinkle toes, um, I'm going to get it off here for right now and go cook some breakfast and, um, take a quick shower and I will come back. Love you guys. Mm.